So Bog Escobar would like to talk to you about something today, and this something consists of what some may consider as a critique of a certain form of third wave feminism. Ladies, gentlemen, trans whatevers, hermaphrodites and the like, it would be subjectively pleasant if you accompanied me in a slow hand clap as Bog approaches the mic. Okay, so a seemingly Jewish friend of mine tagged me in something recently that was posted by Jezebel.com, and this something consisted of a question, and this question is, is office air conditioning a sexist conspiracy? And my answer to such a question happens to be a gargantuan and subjectively misogynistic no. I don't think office air conditioning is a sexist conspiracy. According to what I just read, offices from coast to coast and such and such had hired to some sort of secret agenda that subjects women to the frigid cold cum shots of the patriarchy. Or in other words, a secret agenda that consists of placing women in an environment where men are warmer and less disrespected than women. Now, is such an agenda something that cannot exist? No. It can exist, but is complaining about your cubicle being too cold an existence that is rational when you deem outside as extremely hot? It's obvious that many feminists are simply just megalomaniac and histrionic people with a primary focus on playing the role of the victim in a world where only the irrational have a vast amount of respect for them. The on-job temperature varies from scenario to scenario and etc. Some work environments need the cold while others need warmth. But if I had the power to change the weather, why would I change it if my entire collective doesn't agree with such a change?